Plug in some attitude with Sound Boys. So hello, Martin. Hi. <laughs> we are here on the uh, Electra One booth, and you're going to show us the new MIDI controller, right? So yep. just for viewers back so home, it might Electra be... Electra One is a MIDI controller. You know, um, it's a little bit different from other MIDI controllers, and it's because it supports all types of MIDI messages, including SysX. When we developed the machine, uh, our main goal was to, uh, to be able to control older SysX-based machines and in two-way communication so that we can uh, actually send data to the synthesizer but also read the data from the synthesizer. So what we can do now is uh, that we can connect to a, something like a Yamaha DX7, ask Yamaha for a patch dump, receive the data from uh, Yamaha and update all the controls on the screen. And then when you are editing the sound, uh, you don't get this jumpy behavior you always start uh, making changes from the, uh, from the value where basically it is. So that's, uh, that's one thing. So it's a little bit difficult to see the screen here, but there is a lot of uh, control here. So we've got, what, what, how do we actually edit the... Uh... Yep. Uh, Electra is completely standalone device, so that uh, once you have your presets loaded in the device, you don't need a computer. Basically, it, 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 it does all the work. But in order to create a preset, we have a website that allows you to uh, create presets of your own. You know, as simple as a few clicks. The internet connection is slower here. Okay, so you can make your preset on... Yeah, on, on the website. Yeah. yeah. And then you have a bunch of presets already for different, uh, uh, yeah. for different well, devices, Once right? you create a preset, then uh, it's up to you. If you decide to share it with others, we encourage people to share presets. And uh, when you share it, then basically you can... Uh, it appears on the website in the list of presets and you can easily send it to the device. Uh, you can send up to 72 presets to Electra. Each preset may have up to uh, 12 pages, so it, you know, it's enough for most of the machines. Uh, so how do, we actually, how do we actually edit and use the device then? Yeah, the device, uh, if I change to a, this is the Blofeld preset. The, the screen is set up so that you have like three rows of 12 controls and you can switch between active row and you can use uh, the knobs for changing the, uh, the values. You can navigate between the pages. So this is, this is now controlling uh, the Blofeld, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. And uh, let me switch to Blofeld preset and let me switch to pages, uh, the filter page. And you know, like this is a way to control the cutoff. Electra, not only that it supports things like SysX, but it also, uh, you can assign uh, Lua functions and Lua script to the controls. So you can do uh, some calculations or value changes uh, in Lua scripting. And you can also do more advanced things like generate the MIDI LFOs or uh, create a sequencer preset that will actually run some, uh, some nodes for you. So do you have those uh, do you have those things kind of set up uh, already on the device for people to use or is that uh, something that someone needs to program themselves? Uh, yeah well uh, we have you know like if I go to the uh, preset library then basically uh, then there are things like uh, arpeggiators uh, we have a generative sequencer. Uh, there are few like that, although the majority of presets, it's uh, about hardware synthesizers, uh, software plugins, or uh, the, uh, the extensions for uh, Ableton and uh, Bitwig. Great. So is it available now, or what's, uh, the, what's yeah, the kind yeah, of roadmap? It is. Uh, yeah. Actually, we made them for three years now. We have like second uh, version of Electra. You know, uh, it's an improved version of the original design, and yeah, it's available for sale. So you know, like anybody that comes to our website, uh, it can be bought. 
kind of like immediately because we we maintain a stock of uh, of the controllers. Amazing. Um, and what is the price? On the price is uh, 510 euros without the tax. So if you are in the US, that's the price for you. If you are in Europe, it's uh, around uh, 640, something like that. Brilliant. Well, Martin, thank you very much for speaking yeah. to us. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs>